Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang News. Hello and welcome to Mustang News. I'm Julian Delgadio. Today is Wednesday, November 19th, and Mustang News starts now. The Orphalia College of Business has a new faculty member with a lot of experience under her belt. Mary Kelting has been named the new Assistant Dean for the Advancement and External Relations at Cal Poly. Kelting previously served as the Director of Development for Cal Poly's Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, or CIE, for two years. The new role will require her to oversee the college's fundraising and communications. She will also help Dean Scott Dawson with growing the Dean's Advisory Council. Kelting said that she is glad Glad her new role allows her to stay connected to business leaders who support CIE, as well as Orphalia College of Business alumni. Seeing peers face inequality is not easy, but at the Oxfam Hunger Banquet, students asked their peers to do just that. At the banquet hosted by the Student Community Services Center, students randomly chose a high, middle, or low income tier. The high tier group was given steak, while the low tier was given a half portion of rice to depict the latest poverty statistics. One coordinator said that as hard as it is, enforcing the unequal scenarios is worth it to promote change. The shocked expression on the face of a nice young girl who tried to tell her to go to the back of the line so the guy in front of her could eat first. That's actually somewhat rewarding because you know that's one more person who might think later like wow this is something that has to change. The hunger banquet is part of the See the Need week ending this Saturday. Students at Cal Poly have a chance to go to the beach and even feed horses. Sam Doty takes a look at the unique options that are unlike any other college campus. Making a surfboard at Cal Poly's Graph Center. Defeating horses in between classes, seeing professors on horses, and even taking care of calves at the beef unit, Cal Poly students are exposed to the true meaning of the words surf and turf. And like during Wow Week, we like went up in Hyrex Architecture Graveyard, and there was like a wild horse, and I had like never been that close to a horse in my life, and they were like, "Yeah, you can pet it," and I was like, "This is crazy." Um, and then like just like cows and stuff on hikes at Serenity Swings, there's just like cows there, and you're like, "I've never seen a cow that close. It's crazy." So definitely like getting an ag experience here that I never would have gotten if I hadn't come to Cal Poly. Students can take courses at Cal Poly that allow them to interact with agriculture firsthand. Cal Poly also has several agricultural entrepreneurships where students can live on campus and take care of the animals. Something that really makes Cal Poly stand out is our learn by doing philosophy. And this beef department, for example, is one of the ways where someone who may not have grown up with the background that I did have the chance to come and experience an agricultural life. Whether you're walking from Poly Canyon Village, going to a Cal Poly baseball game, or simply just parking on campus, you can't help but notice the agriculture Cal Poly has to offer and the atmosphere it creates. What's really neat about San Luis's atmosphere is that we're we're all a mixture of students coming from different backgrounds and it gives us each uh, opportunity to experience new things. Sam Doty, Mustang News. Cal Poly's Craft Center or Agricultural Entrepreneurship. Visit calpoly.edu. And uh, one of the largest bands in concert in the country, it, county, is taking place this Sunday on Cal Poly's campus. Nearly 300 students will be performing at the 2014 Cal Poly Band Fest this weekend. The concert features Cal Poly's Wind Orchestra, Wind Ensemble, and the Mustang Marching Band. The concert will include a variety of pieces, including English folk songs, Japanese compositions, and a special arrangement of the U.S. National Anthem. The Mustang Marching Band will feature songs that are often heard at football games. An array, a full array of, of wonderful, exciting band music, um, and we'll be combining both the wind orchestra and the wind ensemble for some of those pieces as well. The event is Sunday at 3 p.m. in Harmon Hall at the Performing Arts Center. And now on to our weather. Wednesday was chilly, hitting a high of 70 with a light drizzle earlier in the day. Temperatures eventually cooling off, expected to hit a low of 52 degrees with light showers and no winds. Thursday will remain cold with a high of 63 and a 40% chance of showers with winds up to 10 miles per hour and eventually dropping off to a 52. So bundle up out there if you're projected to go outside. That's about it for Mustang News this Wednesday. You can tune in our weekly half hour broadcast on Charter Channel 19. And and UHTV Channel 4.1. You can also find constant broadcast coverage at MustangNews.net. Have a great day, Cal Poly.